Okay, we have another RIP knives knife to talk about today. And this is what I love about having a quick YouTube channel, a small YouTube channel, is I get to experience a lot of knives, right? And it, this is a prime example of don't judge an entire company or an entire maker by one knife, okay? A little while ago, I did a knife uh, video on an RIP Knives Fury Mini, and I didn't really like it. Um, it they had a pro, I'm going to say it was a problem, but the blade on that particular example, you could catch yourself here, and it actually got me once, putting it back into the pouch that the owner sent it to me in um, because the tip of the blade was not really protected, right? It wasn't sticking out that far, but you know what I mean? Sometimes the scale is just there. They're trying to shove as much blade into the scales as humanly possible. And sometimes they're sacrificing that little bit of scale protection over the tip of the blade. So I didn't write him off, but I was curious to handle another one. And so the owner of this one reached out to me, sent me a message and said, hey, I have a RIP X that I own. Would you want to check that out? It doesn't have that safety concern on it. I said, I would love to. And so he shipped this over, and I could not be more pleased. The Mini Fury I liked outside of that, you know, blade tip exposure thing. But it was very monochrome. Um, and I'll link a video to it up in the corner at the end. If you want to go check it out, if you haven't already seen it, please go check it out. Um, so this one is much more my style. It's a little bit bigger. Um, and it just fits my hand better as well. But every, there, there's pretty much nothing I don't like about this particular knife. Pocket clip, we'll talk about. That's maybe the one thing that could be improved slightly for my tastes anyway. All right, to give you a couple of specs, it's four and five eighths inches closed and eight inches overall. 3.48 inch blade. Blade thickness is 0 0.019 here in the recurve part and 0 0.023 up here at the edge, the, the, the more front part. Gives you a little bit more robustness behind the edge up here where you're going to be doing some of your piercing and more hard hardcore use and your more delicate fine cutting is going to be back here with the thinner edge. So that's super awesome. It is made out of MagnaCut blade steel and... I'm sure this is not the only knife out there that has a stonewashed Magna Cup blade. It is the only knife out there that I have handled with a stonewashed Magna Cup blade. Typically, when you see Magna Cut, you're seeing it more of a higher polish, um, which is never my favorite of any material to have this higher polish on the blade because it just shows up every fingerprint, every smudge, and every little scratch. However, I was able to snag this RJ Martin a couple of years ago, and I absolutely love it to death. So I can overlook the mirrored blade. Okay, this thing runs on phosphor bronze washers, which I think is totally fine. I think that people get a little too hung up on, it's got to be washers. It's... I don't care. As long as the action is good and smooth and reliable. It could be washers. It could be bearings. I don't care. It could be ceramic bearings or steel bearings. Doesn't really matter to me because it's all the same. Really, at the end of the day, uh, we could split hairs and there's a lot of internet debates on washers versus bearings. And I don't think there's a good answer one way or the other, right? So you have techno carbon, carbon fiber on the show side, all titanium hardware. Zoom in and give you a close-up look. 
I love, love the finish on the blade. I love the grind marks. I, I love everything about this knife, quite frankly. Copper infused carbon fiber, titanium hardware all around. Titanium backspacer, titanium pocket clip. Lock bar uh, stabilizer. Now the pocket clip isn't super deep carry. And again, it doesn't need to be deep carry for me, but that's a lot sticking out. So the one thing I would want a little differently maybe is a little bit of a deeper carry pocket clip because that does just seem like a lot sticking out, okay? Um, if I grab like the Hellraiser here, is it that much more? Like, again, the Hellraiser kind of sticks out similarly as well. So, you know, it. I guess it's not so bad if I actually really compare it to some other knives. But as I was putting it in my pocket, here's a, a production Hellraiser. See if that's any different. It's about the same. Um, but as I was putting this in and out of my pocket, it just seemed like it was a little bit farther out than others, okay? So let me give you a couple quick size comparisons. I think this is super cool, made in the USA. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, no, down in uh, Los Angeles. Here is his Instagram. I will put a link down below. Also, here it is with the Sharpie. I do now have my Spyderco Delica back from sharpening, so I can use that as an example. Since I pulled out the RJ Martin Q36SS and a custom Hellraiser as well as a production Hellraiser, I'll show those all as well because, well, we all know I love my Hellraisers. And if I get a chance to show them, you know, I kind of take it. Now, this one in the lighting, it looks like the blade is black, but that's just the way the lights are set up here for filming always kind of gives me a little bit of a angst because sometimes knives just don't show up that great. This is just a beautiful example of the Hellraiser. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. There you go. There's a quick look at the RIP Knives X model. And yeah, this thing is just fantastic. Yeah, so don't, again, don't judge a knife by one, like a company by one knife that might have a problem. Don't judge a restaurant because you went in one time and the meal wasn't perfect, right? Give people a chance. Give companies a chance. Give life a chance. Um, and don't judge everything just by one experience. Everybody has an off day. The waiter, the waitress, the flight attendant, the ticket agent, um, the parking attendant. Everybody has an off day. Be a little more kind. And uh, I'm glad I got to check this one out because of the previous issues. That's not a universal thing from RIP Knives. That happened on that one, perhaps. And so, again, just don't judge everything by one example of the company's offerings. Thanks, guys. Check out the other video up here, and there's links to his Instagram and stuff down below.